Hey guys, it's Cubix, and today I'm just going to go over the uh, Anchor mod that Waffle proposed. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check the video out first before watching the rest of this. Um, in his video, he used a Ling Yun with Dian Shang screws. Um, I didn't have a Dian Shang laying around that I could use, um, so I tried the mod with Maru screws, and it worked really well. However, I only had seven, so five of the edge pieces didn't have the anchors. So, I decided to go to a hardware store and buy some screws. Um, people have been asking asking this on the forums, asking um, which types of, type of screws to get, so I'll just go over what I got. Um, of course, in this video, I won't be using a Ling Yan, I'll be using a Gu Hong, but, I mean, it, it's still generally the same. So, um, uh, before the mod, I got a pop, probably one in every five sols, um, which is sort of annoying. Um, after the mod, I've done about uh, between 800 and 1,000 solves, and I haven't gotten a single pop. Not even close. So, uh, yeah, I'll just tell you what I used. Uh, so this is Gu Hong, and the screws I used, um, I got from a hardware store. Um, these are 632 um, Phillips roundhead machine screws, and they're half inch long. Um, I could have gotten the 3 quarters inch or 1 inch uh, variant, but um, I decided not to because I didn't want my cube to feel obese. Um, we'll get a close-up of everything in just a bit. Um, so here's the Gu Hong, and um, to assemble it, I actually uh, took out the centerpiece and then put all the pieces in and then put the centerpiece back in. But um, what I realized is you can actually, um, you can just pull on the centerpiece and if you twist it, sort of like what you would do with the wing edge on a V-cube, um, it comes out like that. Um, so if you're worried about pops, that would never happen in an actual solve, I hope. Um, it, at least that never happens for me. Uh, edges would never twist like that. Uh, anyway, um, so this is uh, the piece. And so what happens, uh, I should, I'm going to switch to macro and get back to you guys. Okay, so we are in macro right now. Um, as you can see, uh, we have the screw right here. Um, and it's obviously done uh, in the dead center of the piece. Um, Gu Hong's, well all die-in cubes really have holes in the middle of the edge piece and basically what you do is you um, you just drill a hole. Now I didn't have a drill with me so I basically used a Phillips head screwdriver put it into the little gap between the edge pieces and I just kept twisting until the plastic molded away. After that I took a long screw, it was a one and a quarter inch screw and um, I used that sort of as a hacksaw so basically you split the edges um, press it against the screw firmly and you move the screw um, inwards and outwards sort of like a hacksaw and uh, you basically saw away at the plastic. Um, that's what I did. Obviously if you have a drill use it. It's so much easier. Uh, this mod did take me much longer than 10 minutes. It probably took me around 40 minutes uh, to do. And um, So here uh, as you can see the screw isn't huge. Um, I could have opted for a slightly uh, wider diameter however my hardware store only had round head screws, um, which means that um, if the diameter is too large, then obviously the top is going to get a little bit higher as well. So I did just uh, try to play it safe, uh, which worked out pretty well. Um, and with corner pieces, what happens is uh, you get something like this, right? So in an actual solve, uh, what would happen is the edge would try to pop out like that. However, because these corners are secured like this with more pieces on the sides, um, what tends to happen is this edge might try to pop out, but in order for this edge to pop out, all the corners have to come out as well. And um, that can't happen because there's more pieces around the corners. So this works really, really well. Um, if I had a slightly larger uh, screw head, uh, it would just it would secure it even better, but this works. Um, I can't really split this edge in half because I super glued it. Why did I do that? Because well, I don't know. I didn't have to, I just did. Um, and uh, it does not touch the core. Um, so if you can look at that screw um, at the very bottom right there, um, you'll notice that it doesn't actually touch the core. Uh, so this is actually like perfect. Um, for the actual screw itself, I'll just show you what I used. So for the screw, I used this. Uh, you can see it's a Phillips head, machine screw, round head, um, and this is half an inch. So 
um, it only goes into the QB uh, a little bit. Um, regular cube screws would be quite a bit longer, um, but this works and uh, it makes the cube significantly heavier um, since machine screws are actually pretty large uh, considering the diameter of this. Um, an actual cube screw would have um, a much considerably smaller diameter. Um, so yeah, this is this is actually pretty heavy. Uh, Twelve of these screws uh, adds up uh, quite a bit. So yeah, uh, these came in uh, packs of five, so I bought three packs. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Uh, this pro it, will pro it probably will not be the same for your hardware store, um, but you can look at the specifications right there, part number 82322. So that's just to give you an idea. You don't have to use the same thing as me. Um, I'm just showing you that you don't have to uh, necessarily use uh, cube screws. You can actually get them from a hardware store. Um, so definitely recommend this mod. You should definitely try it out. Uh, it is a awesome mod. And with that, um, toodles.